In the user section, when a user has performed the two-factor authentication, the two-factor authentication state changes to verified. The user will need to sign in with their username and password and enter their token in the two-factor authentication web page. The QR code is no longer needed to be scanned. As long as the two-factor authentication is activated or not reset for the user, the user's two-factor authentication state remains verified. Any user from the list can have their two-factor authentication state reset by an administrator. The user's two-factor authentication state automatically will revert to setup. Log out and sign in with the custom user. Notice that the user must set up their authenticator again. In this case, the key will be used instead of the QR code. Copy the key to create a new entry in the authenticator application and paste it in the secret field. The name of the issuer always starts with a OV2FA followed by the username. The final step is similar to the previous method where the six digit token must be entered in the code field. Note that the previous token no longer works for the user. Back to the user section, you will see that the two-factor authentication state for the user is again verified. The two-factor authentication feature can also be globally activated for all the users of the OmniVista Cirrus instance. To do so, click the Enable Globally button and refresh the page and verify the two-factor authentication status changes. Review the impact of the user section with the two-factor authentication feature being activated for all users. You can disable the two-factor authentication feature globally from the two-factor authentication section. All users who previously used the two-factor authentication feature will no longer need to use an authenticator application.